Where were you living? Well, before that, I was living on campus. And then once I graduated Fordham, I moved to Harlem. Mm. So, you know, it was New York. It was still great, but there were drugs still. Mm -hmm. But yeah. but not in a way like the guys in the corner made sure I got home. Right. You know what I mean? So I never felt anything. The vendors were still on 125th Street. You still had the Mart. Great food, you're making hot pot. I mean, it was like... It feels like while things were, so, while things were obviously violent in many areas and crazy too, they're also, I remember growing up and feeling a greater sense of community. Really big sense And whereas of community. now, it doesn't seem, I mean, there's not really community anywhere. I mean, well, I'm sure there is, but you know what I mean? Not in the way no. when we were coming well, up. Well, you know what? We weren't distracted by technology. You right. know what I mean? So there weren't cell phones. I mean, that was the day when, like, you beeped someone and waited at the payphone. Right. So you really had to be with your girlfriends and, mm -hmm. like, be present. During that time, you were in uh, NYU grad school. Yeah. For what? For journalism. I thought I was going to be a journalist. Yeah? I did. I, I didn't want to be an on-air journalist. I wanted to produce long story packages for like 60 minutes or mm -hmm. Dateline. I wanted to do investigative news journalism, but producing Ooh. it. How did you go from there and decide to walk into an acting class? Well, I had a friend um, who's an actress who lived in my building, Paula J. Parker. Mm -hmm. And she was like, you should make, I want. I needed extra money. Mm -hmm. And uh, she said, I'm gonna introduce you to my, to my um, manager. And at the time I was working for a director, mm -hmm. once I graduated college, um, who was a commercial production director. And he used to always say, you're on the wrong side of the camera. Oh, wow. But um, my first uh, semester of NYU, my dad had a stroke and died very suddenly. Oh, wow. And, um, you know, I had never really experienced that, mm -hmm. you know, death of someone close, a loved one, especially my father. I thought he would want me to finish school, and so I said, you know what, I'm going to do it. And then once I finished grad school, I said, I'm going to, I kind of, I kind of started to understand the brevity of life. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. But I started auditioning, and you know what, I got tired of not getting callbacks. I got tired of not booking. So I decided I wanted I wanted to study. I was like, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to have to really do it. Mm -hmm. and, and what so, was that like for you, studying? I loved it. Those years were, I think, life-changing for me because it had me deal with a lot of emotional stuff mm. that I didn't, I wasn't even really aware of. I was still broke, but... Not for long. Hey, guys. Hey! Hi! I think I left you guys too long. I think you killed the ramp. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, no! You gotta do your ball. Yeah, let's make it into a ball. All right. Now I'm jealous of everyone's ball. <laughs> Be proud of your ball. You too. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. I have we take you guys it? set up. Yep, take the ball. We'll go over to the wheel. Take your seat on either one of these. Okay. Stretch out my chain. Oh, Take it. Move the foot pedal. Take you anywhere, all right? All right, so that's what you guys have to watch out. Patty, you dirty. Now, if you guys stop the wheel, okay. I'm gonna take a clip, place it on the middle as much as we can, smack it down, smack, 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 it, smack, it. smack, it. smack it. Okay, all right, now spin it. it. Spin it, watch your hands. With the clay, okay. place your hands, keep your elbows down. Okay, down. Oh, okay. And then place your hands on the side like this. Ah. Oh, God. It's gonna get taller. Oh, the faster you spin? No, the oh. harder you squeeze. Oh. It gets taller the harder you squeeze, Joy. Check her out. It's like a chest set. Oh my god, that's beautiful! <laughs> that looks like a bottle. What does this look like, Joy? A nipple. I'm making a breast. <laughs> You're making a breast. You're making a breast cup. <laughs> that looks cute! <laughs> I don't understand. Why is it mine taking shape? I need to go up more. You just need to squeeze harder. This one over here with his instructions. <laughs> you just need to squeeze harder. <laughs> it's not working. This isn't going well. But wait, what if you were to make a plate or something like that? Why can't you make a plate? You just flatten it, right? People make plates out there. Oh. Yeah, because that way you don't have to worry about levels. Okay. Right? Yeah. So spin it, yeah. But not so fast. Okay. It seems like you put too much pressure on it. Really? Yeah, maybe that's, well, how, okay. is that an issue with you? Putting too much pressure on yourself? Let's talk about that. Uh, maybe there is. Let's talk about your pressure. This is this is from being a black actress. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey. Come on, black actress, you're used to adversity. I am used to adversity. Right? So are you, right? Yeah. I mean, it's not the easiest. I mean, while things are getting better. Yeah. 
Yeah. You still have a ways, ways to go. Well, I mean, look at you, for example, on parenthood. You know, you're in an interracial relationship. I mean, there are a lot of, you know, areas where you see progress and you just see that it, it I mean, it's wonderful, but I think, you know. That would have been weird, like being in an inter interracial yes. relationship on television, maybe like 10, 15, exactly. 20 years It would have been the a subject of yeah. the thing. It would have been the whole storyline. It would have been the storyline. Yeah. But I think, it, you know, I think it's better. I think that, I don't know if it's ever a point where you feel like you've made it. I don't. I'm always like, I'm not as bad as I used to be. I used to think, am I ever going to work again? Now I just think, am I going to work again before like five years? Yeah. Um, but as you work more, you get more comfortable and you get better. But I mean, I, I think it's always a pipe to find not just material, but good material. I think, yeah. I think, I think, the, I think that's like that for, for yes, every actor. It's just yes. compound it when you go down the sort of racial, yes. gender yes, list. Yeah. If this is any indication of my career, I would have to retire because this has gone. From <laughs> Don't give up. We're a little bit more empowered, you right. know what I mean? And if that's what it takes for, you know, honestly, all people to use their voice more, then it ends up being a good thing. I, I, think, you, I think you have something. I you think have, so, too. I think